This is the big issue in terms of what happened and where this is going. The CEOs of Boeing destroyed one of the great names in American business. They cared about everything but safety and building good airplanes. They destroyed Boeing, and they get tens of millions of dollars. Another man who wants millions for him and his clients, too, is aviation attorney and pilot Timothy Loranger. He represents seven passengers on Alaskan Airlines Flight 1282. That's the one where the door plug blew out mid-flight, so people could look down and see the ground below them. And Timothy is with us now. Counselor, good to see you. Uh, Thank you so much. What did you think was the most important part of the hearing today? Well, what came from that hearing is a lot of actually the best part. It's it's hard to find the best part. Uh, it, what came from the hearing is a lot of of talk about the difference between manufacturing uh, defects and uh, and safety issues that they're having uh, it, at Boeing in their manufacturing process. Uh, a lot of uh, sidestepping of very important questions, uh, very uncomfortable uh, witnesses there. With uh, Mr. Calhoun certainly was feeling the heat there. All right, well, and with good reason, right? You I mean you think about Boeing's incidents, door plugs blowing off, the wheels fall off, uh, there's a couple of nose dives, uh, there was the Southwest engine cover, there was the Southwest uh, engine that uh, blew apart, there was the Ethiopian crash, 737 MAX, there was the 2018 Indian, Indian, Indonesian crash, 737 MAX, and a number of engine fires. Um, your lawsuits are going to get money for the people who were on the Alaskan Airlines flight, or that's the idea, um, from Boeing, maybe from the airlines too. How's that going to make flying safer? Well, you know, a lawsuit has more than one purpose. Uh, certainly, uh, getting compensation for people who've been injured is a very important uh, factor. That is a mo some motivation to file a lawsuit. But also, uh, litigation does a good job of looking very deeply into the processes that occurred, what went, and finding out what went wrong along the way. Why was this door? How was this door not installed properly? How is it that those documents that would have uh, shown how the door was installed, how were they lost? How was video lost? All of those things, when they come to light, they tend to push toward safety in the manufacturing process. So litigation. Okay, I, get, I get that safety in the manufacturing process is an important thing, but unless you hold these CEOs responsible and start taking their money, which you're not going to do, all that's going to happen is Boeing's going to pay you, Ameri Alaskan Airlines is going to pay you, and they're going to raise all of our ticket prices, right? Certainly, Boeing is going to suffer financially from all of these mistakes. But absolutely, uh, these issues coming into the light through litigation, through public documents that are filed in the court system that are available to the FAA, uh, to the government, uh, will put pressure on Boeing to make changes. And just because the CEOs come in and then they decide to leave when the hot right, seat no, I, I get all this, and I get there's a reason for litigation. The FAA could get these documents without a lawsuit, so could Congress, okay? They, they don't need your lawsuit in order to do this. And what I'm getting at is you've got people who are on the Alaskan Airlines flight. I'm sure it was scary. I'm sure it was terrifying. Uh, pilot myself, and you, you, you know what thing, things are like in emergency situations. Terrifying for passengers. But it, it feels a little bit like these folks now have a lottery ticket that you're cashing in for them. And in the end, Boeing's going to get hurt financially. Alaskan Airlines is going to get hurt financially. They're going to pass the costs all on to us. Where do I have that wrong? You don't necessarily have that wrong, but that is unfortunately the price when you put people's lives in jeopardy. Yeah. That's, you know, if they get the blowback from the flying public who is going to decide to make choices about what airlines they fly on and what aircraft that they're willing to get on, Boeing is going to start to feel it in the bottom line. That also includes uh, issues with their stock prices. The more they get hit, the the more they lose uh, it their, in their bottom line. I think that's an appropriate uh, pressure to put on them through litigation. That's what our civil justice system does. And uh, and I, of course, stand behind it. I stand behind my clients who are seeking yeah. compensation for what they went through. I, I understand that. Just to be clear, though, none of the money is going to come from either Dennis Mullenberger or Dave Calhoun, right? The guys who actually who actually got, got us here, they're not going to pay a dime, right? They're going to keep their golden parachutes? They're going to keep their golden parachutes, unfortunately. They will walk away uh, very wealthy and not really feel the pressure of any of this. 
Uh, but the people who are back at Boeing, the people who are working there, the, the shareholders and the flying public, they're the ones who are going to pay the price for this. Uh, and then hopefully at the end of the day, Boeing will fix some of the issues that they have. Hmm. Unfortunately, right now, we don't have a lot of confidence in uh, the promises that they've made. Yeah, I think that's probably a, a very fair point. Uh, Timothy, uh, among, uh, among other things, uh, pilot, lawyer, and honest broker of information, we'd be happy to have you back anytime, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much.